So now let's bring our recap point cloud into an inventor layout to begin building the factory layout. So I'm going to go up here to factory, tell it new layout. So now it builds my model for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and tell it I want to attach the recap point cloud. I'll browse out and find the point cloud, select it and say open. The software is going to expect me to drop it where I want it to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and click once to drop it. And I kind of just drop it anywhere because I know that it's going to ask me, well, where do I really want it in terms of its location? I'm just going to tell it to insert at the origin because I set the origin in the other model. Go ahead and say OK. And there we go. So a couple things here that I typically do, you can see it gives me those little scan locations and their bubbles. I usually turn those off. And also, if you need to, kind of use the navigator to kind of turn certain things off or on. This is the navigator here where you can turn off regions or scans depending upon what you're working with. I'm going to go ahead and just cancel that. The next thing we can do now that we've got our our point cloud in there, we can use that as a guide to place assets into that model. So I have a factory asset browser tab here that I can use to find something. Let's say I know that I have some lathes over here. I can search for lathe. I'd say this looks an awful lot like the one that's in there. So you might have to download it. You can see here it's going to ask me to right click and download. It'll just take a few seconds to download that. Now that I have it downloaded, I can left click and drag it into my design. It's going to ask where to put it. I'm going to change the orientation to more of a top view here. So I can see a little bit better about what I'm trying to accomplish. I'll zoom in nice and tight. You'll see that it's a little bit bigger than the one that we have in there, but we won't worry about that just now. We can change the sizing of it here in a second. So I'll go ahead and click right about here. And then if we zoom back in, we can change its angle. I can use this grip here to rotate its angle. Try to eyeball as best we can. And now we have one of those. Just right click until we're done, that we're finished with that one. And again, it's too big, but we'll worry about that here in a second. It's just trying to place another one. So now if I click on this, in the factory properties, I have the ability of changing some of the sizes. So let's change this to 80 for the length and the width being, we'll say, 30. And it resize, but not off the same base points. We'll have to reposition this. We'll select that. And tell it to repeat position. And we can slide it to the right location. We'll say done. And now we've got a lathe placed in the design. Let's say I wanted to place a drill press in this corner over here. So I'll go back to the asset browser. I'll search for drill press. So I'll search for drill press. And this one looks about right, so I'll go ahead and download this. Like I said, now it's just a matter of left clicking and dragging into the design. So I'll click to place it, and I'll rotate accordingly.
This one is actually a point cloud in, in of, of itself. So it's just a little bit of an interesting model. You'll see that laying out that way. If you ever want to get to a point where you see this without the point cloud, again, we can go back to our navigator and just turn the point cloud or the regions off. And we can see those objects sitting there by themselves.